Hello, uh, hi, this is Sundar Bharat. I'm going to uh, explain about how Li and Q uh, to insert, delete, and update the database. Uh, not database, exactly. It update the tables, and uh, we'll see. Uh, actually, we'll see in the web application. So for now, we gonna open our empty web application, which is uh, already have. I'll name it uh, Li and Q example. Now, whenever I open this, uh, I'm just gonna write one more thing. Simple things, which is uh, already have, and uh, I'll create a database. I I already have a demo database. I'll create a table in this area. And I already have a table name called contacts. Ah, that's good. It works for me. Okay, now. I'll create one which is really one item which is web form. I'll say this web form is add contact. Okay, and the next one is I'll create one more way. one more contact page. One more page which is called default, which it, it's a default page which uh, it, you can display all contacts and all but I in before I'm doing that I'm gonna initialize one so you can see the layout here I'm going to toolbar so I'll grab simple thing from here in this area which is uh, hyperlink okay in this hyperlink I'll go into the properties and I'll change this one to add contact change the text and not only that I'll change the navigation here I'll say it directly refers now that's good so if I run this it automatically goes to add contacts dot p ASPX You don't need to worry about what kind of server is executing. It's it's taking the uh, ASP.NET application development server, so it's a default server from the you know, uh, sorry, it's default server from the Visual Studio. It automatically executes it. So even I click on it, it goes to add add contact dot ASPX. Now in this area, add contact. I need to I I'll create a table. Okay. So in this table, I'm gonna create one simple thing. Uh, tr here in this tr, I'll say td. That I need a two columns, so I'll say td. So for this, I need two rows as well. So I'll go for sorry, three rows, which is uh, here. I'll say name. I'll say here. If you go to the design, you can see what kind of structure you can see in this area. So, what kind of ta in this table? I'm gonna go whatever I want. I can just put it. I need a text box here, here, and I'll say phone number. Number. So, in this area, I'm gonna put one more text box. That's cool. You can see this. You can have a simple form. Now, that's great. Now, in this area, I'll remove this one column and I'll say this one. Uh, text sorry uh, call span equals to two that means it, it will automatically acts like a one column acts like a two call two columns uh, next thing is here and I'll say align equals to I'll say center so now whatever the whatever I put here so it automatically will be in the center you know so I'll just need here and I'll need a button so in this button I'll change go to the properties and I'll change this button properties to add so I'll simply say add that's good so I'll s expand my add a little bit so I mean my button so that's good and go to the properties and we'll see and I'll change ID as well I'll say btn sorry btn add so now it has a different thing so now I got a form that's great 
and in this area I'll create a simple uh, way to retrieve the contacts we'll see how one would do that so uh, later on that first we will add the contacts so after doing this I'm gonna add one more thing which is automatically you know go to data and you'll see ally and q2 sql classes this is the this is this is introduced by microsoft okay when a ally and q is a language integrated query it's two sql classes that means you know whatever the i mean it creates a class which is already uh, which uh, i mean which creates as a class which has uh, attributes and functions and different functions and all we gonna use those class we gonna use those class and we can write a lion queue that means a language integrated query and we can manipulate the data so right now we are gonna say this one is DB classes also DB classes so you can see the layout okay e this is the layout so in this layout I'm gonna go to server and I'm drag my table contacts in this area you see it just looks like a class you have a properties but you don't have a functions but uh, if you have if you need a functions you can use this one creating a store processors and all and you can place them here and you can use that store processor as well so if you go to this properties you'll see delete insert update use in the runtime that's really great so if you don't want to do that uh, we can discuss that one later but uh, the thing is using this you can easily write all the things and whenever you add this class it automatically adds a system dot data dot q namespace that's great so now i save the class now whenever i click cl double click on the add and it will generate the button you know btn add underscore click event in this click event uh, you can simply write you know so simply write add sorry db class whatever the data it's it's a context it creates as a context class so we use that context class in this area I uh, say db is equals to new db class context data context that's great so now you see in this db now I need to add a data so I you see whenever I place the class whenever I place the lay uh, TBL contact table in the DBL classes layout it automatically generates the class called TBL contact okay T is equals to it, it has a properties and all we just need to assign those property so for example TC dot I need a name it you can see the property for that I'll say uh, sorry about that I forgot to you know change the proper uh, IDs I'll set txt name and this one is a txt phone number so now I'll say txt name dot text and the tc dot uh, number sorry phone is equals to txt dot phone dot text I'm sorry that's a wildcard so I'm directly writing as a text okay and uh, now I need to insert the table so what we do is we ha already have a predefined function which is called TC you know uh, we can already it's the con data context already creates a property called TBL context in this context you have uh, sorry in this property you have different function the this function will be insert the data so insert on submit whenever whenever you say submit the database submit the data to data context con context it will automatically submit the data so I'll it asking for TC contact entity so I'm just gonna post TC so now you need to do a submit changes that's it you automatically got that and the next thing is written sorry response response dot redirect I'll say uh, default dot ASPX that means whenever you know you don't need you automatically execute this one that's great sorry about that
see I have a name I'll say Suri and uh, 916097865 that's my number sorry about that okay say so add so now you see it added but you cannot see the what kind of stuff you can it's added into this database so what we did do is we're gonna, we're gonna write for the retrieve data so go to show table data and you can see the data see now that's great so now what do we do uh, here I simply write the database uh, uh, really sorry okay now what we do is we're gonna simply go here in this area I'll just gonna say press enter here I'll just go here in the data fields I need a grid view I'll simply drop this one and choose the data source I click on